This is a story from a recent past. In a city, there lived a little beautiful girl. It was New Year's Eve, and the girl was walking on the roadside with bundles of matches in her hands. She had a few of them in the pockets of her apron, too. There was snowfall, which had covered her hair, and the beautiful curls around her neck. She was walking since the morning, but couldn't sell a single matchbox. She approached people walking on the road, but nobody purchased a single match from her, as everybody was enjoying the eve out there. Walking through the footpath, the girl saw many shops full of cakes and various foods. She saw many restaurants with people eating different foods, with candles burning on their tables. The girl, too, was very hungry, as she had had nothing since morning. She ignored the sight and walked ahead. She was shivering as it was night, and the cold was quite piercing. She was unable to walk properly as she was barefoot. During daytime, when she was at home sitting beside her ill grandmother, <laughs> Mary, would you please go out today to sell the matches? We could get some food if you could sell a few of them. No, Mother, it's too cold out there. Go, you silly girl. Go and sell all those matches by evening. And don't come home unless you sell them all. Oh, go, dear, or else he will hit you again. I feel so sorry to have such a cruel son. <laughs> don't cry, Grandma. I'll go. Mary put some matches in her apron wore her mother's slippers, and left. She tried her best, approaching people to buy the matches from her, but no one responded. It was getting dark, and Mary was very hungry. But she remembered her father's threat, and she started walking again. At the corner of the road, she bumped on a group of people. Oh, sorry. I I'm fine. Would you like to purchase any matches? Sorry, little angel. I don't need any. And they went on. Mary then felt that she is barefoot. She realized that one of her slippers is broken. She searched for another one and found it in the gutter. She couldn't take it out from there. Mary decided to walk barefoot. Before moving on, she checked if her matches were safe. She met many people but failed to sell any match. Tired, she found a corner between two houses and decided to sit there for a while. The cold was getting bitterer. The girl, with the matches in her hands, thought, If I burn a matchstick, I can get some warmth. Again, a thought came in her mind. If father came to know about it, he would be very angry. But the shivering forced her to think. How would he know if I burnt just one stick? She dared to take out a matchstick and burn it on a wood stick nearby. And what a surprise! The matchstick turned into an iron stove. The girl felt warm. She put her hand near the iron stove and tried to grasp the warmth. She was very happy, but soon, in a few moments, a snowdrop fell on the matchstick and the flame went out. She was very disappointed. In a while, she started shivering again. She thought for a moment and took out the matchbox. She picked out another matchstick and burnt it against the wall adjacent to her. Ah! To her surprise, the wall turned transparent. She could see through the wall now. The house was very beautiful and well decorated. There was fire and light, as many candles were burning. The family living there was having their food. She could see ample food and cakes kept on the dining table where the family members were chatting and discussing something sitting around the table. Mary saw a roasted goose kept in a plate on the table. All of a sudden, the goose started staring at Mary. She was surprised again. The very next moment, she saw the goose coming towards her. As she was very hungry, she felt happy to see the goose coming to her. 
The goose came near the wall. Mary was about to insert her hand in the wall and hold the goose. Just then, the flame of the matchstick went off and everything vanished at once. Now, there wasn't any transparent wall anymore. Mary was very disappointed. She looked at the sky, pleading God to help her. Oh God, please take me out of the situation. Just then, she saw a star falling down. A thought struck her mind. They say, when a star falls, someone dies. My grandma is very sick. Does it mean that I've lost my grandma? <laughs> oh, she loved me the most. Crying, she took out another matchstick and burnt it. She was not surprised to see her grandmother standing in front. Oh, Grandma, you're here? Yes, my child, I'm here for you. Mary was pleased to see her grandmother, but got scared the next moment. She thought her grandmother also will disappear. She took out more sticks from the match and put them on the burning stick. And there was a light, a light as bright as the sunlight. In that hour of night, there was a bright sunlight around Mary and her grandmother. Mary looked upon at her grandmother. She was looking very beautiful in her new white gown. Grandmother was looking at Mary, smiling. Grandma, I am too scared to stay here anymore. Please take me with you, please. Yes, dear, I'll take you with me. Give me your hand. The grandmother held Mary's hand and lifted her in her arms. They both started flying upwards. Mary was so pleased that she started clapping. How are you feeling now, my little angel? Now, Grandma, I don't feel hungry or cold or scared anymore. I'm feeling very light. The grandmother smiled at her and they both flew to the heaven. There was an innocent smile on Mary's face and the sun rays lightened her face in the morning. There were many people gathered around her. All of them were watching Mary, lying down in the corner between the two houses. They all felt pity for her. <laughs>